Welcome to the second lecture of Mechanics of Materials course. In this lecture, we will get an introduction to linear algebra and then we will see how to use initial notations. First, let us assume that A is a matrix which will denote it by this symbol here. Let us say it has entries 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and B is another matrix which has entries A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I am going to define some basic operations in linear algebra. Many of you might be knowing this already, but for completeness sake let me go ahead and define those operations. When I say A matrix A plus matrix B what I mean is this resulting matrix 1 plus A, 2 plus B, 3 plus C, 4 plus D, 5 plus E, 6 plus F, 7 plus G, 8 plus H, 9 plus I. Okay. This is what this operator plus means. Okay. Similarly, if I want to multiply this matrix A times B, then what I mean is multiplying the, these columns with these rows. A multiplied by B means multiplying these columns with these rows. So, now what does this A into B means? A into B means 1 into A plus 2 into D plus 3 into G will be the first row, first column entry of this matrix A into B. The second entry of this would be 1 into B plus 2 into E plus 3 into H. The third entry of this row would be it is going to be 1 into C plus 2 into F plus 3 into I. Similarly, for the second row of this A into B matrix, I have to multiply the second row of A with each of these columns of B vector, B matrix. So, it will be 4 into A plus 5 into D plus 6 into G. Similarly, the second entry is going to be 4 into B plus 5 into E plus 6 into H and third entry is going to be 4 into C plus 5 into F plus 6 into I. The last row of this I am sure you would have recognized the pattern by now would be 7 into A plus 8 into D plus 9 into G and here it is going to be 7 into B plus 8 into E plus 9 into H and here is going to be 7 into C plus 8 into F plus 9 into I. Okay. This is what matrix matrix multiplication means. Now, in A into B is not going to be equal to B into A. Let us see that now I am interested in multiplying finding the result for B times A. This is not equal to A times B in general. Okay. To see what it means let us write a first row of B into A. B into A what should I do? I have to multiply the rows of B with the columns of A. So, the first entry there is going to be B times A is going to be A times 1 plus B times 4 plus C times 7. Right? When I multiply the rows of B, 
the columns of A that is what I will have in contrast to what you add for A times B. You can see the difference between A times B and B times A here. Okay. So, A multiplied by B is not same as B multiplied by A. I leave this as an exercise for you to complete what the entries of these are going to be. Now, I am also interested in finding what A transpose B would be for reasons that will become evident towards the end of this lecture. A transpose B would be 1 to A this is A transpose 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, this is A transpose that is I have to interchange the rows and the columns. A was initially 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 uh, arranged along the rows. Now, it becomes arranged along the columns because I am interested in transposing this matrix A. Okay. So, B remains same, B is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So, this gives me 1 times A plus 4 times D plus 7 times G the first entry, second entry would be 1 times B plus 4 times E plus 7 times H and so on. Okay, I leave it as an exercise for you to complete the remaining components of A transpose B. So, this is what this multiplication means. Okay. So, we have seen what addition of two matrices mean and what multiplication of two matrices mean. Till now, we have been doing it by writing all the elements of the matrix and then we have been multiplying it uh, and writing what the resulting matrix is. Now, say I am lazy or I do not want to explicitly state what the components of the matrix is that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but I want to deal it with some symbols like A, B, C that I have used. I am going to use an alternate symbol to represent the matrix A as matrix A can be represented as A i j where we will follow the convention that i means rows and j denotes the column of this matrix A. So, this would have been A 1 1 because I am in the first row first column and A 1 2 because I am in the first row second column and A 1 3 because I am in the first row third column here. Similarly, it will be A 2 1 second row first element first column A 2 2, A 2 3, A 3 1, A 3 2 and A 3 3. Would this as in a short form written as A i j. This matrix in short form has been written as A i j. Okay. Now, similarly if I have a vector which I will denote it by this symbol A, this denotes a vector, it can I will write it as a column vector A 1, A 2, A 3 which I will denote it as A B, okay. A B in general. I will want to have this 1 to indicate the column. Okay. So, vectors will be represented using just one index by default vectors for us would be a column vector. Okay. Now, if I want to multiply this A matrix with this vector A, I know that it will be A 1 1 A 1 plus A 1 2 A 2 plus A 1 3 A 3. A 2 1 A 1 plus A 2 2 A 2 plus A 2 3 A 3 A 3 1 A 1 plus A 3 2 A 2 plus A 3 3 A 3. This equation I want to write it in short form by writing this A matrix as A i j 
and this vector a as a j and I am going to indicate that I have to sum this j from 1 to 3. This will be another vector say this vector was equal to b this will be the b i th component of the vector b ok. So, basically what we have is you have here b 1, b 2, b 3 represented as a 1 1, a 1, a 1 2, a 2. So, that is the same equation here ok, where I can take elements from 1, 2 or 3 ok. So, basically this matrix vector multiplication is can be represented as this. Now, I am going to become a little bit more lazy and say that simplify the equation that I wrote there. I wrote a i j a j equal to b i j equal to 1 2 3 and i takes elements from the set 1 2 3. I am going to rewrite the same equation dropping off the summation symbol saying that if I index is repeated twice if an index indexes index means i or j or b or b what we use for a b what I write in a suffix is called as the index ok. If an index is repeated twice on the same side of the equal to symbol then it is called as dummy index index and by default it has to be summed summed from 1 2 3 ok. In contrast this index i which appears on either side of the equal to sign is called as a free index if an index for example, i in the above equation appears only once on either side of the equal sign the index is called free index. In contrast to dummy index this is called as free index here ok, it is called as free index and it need not it should not be summed from 1 to 3. Important word is it should not be summed dummy index has to be summed from 1 to 3 whereas, a free index need not be summed from should not be summed from 1 to 3 ok. In this example j is a dummy index and i is a free index ok. Now, why is this dummy and free have to be distinguished is a dummy index can be given any alphabet it can change into any other symbol 
okay just like a variable can be denoted by x y or uh, z or t or a this dummy index can be changed consistently throughout into any other symbol j can become b uh, j can become k but j cannot become i because i appears on either side of the equal to sign okay so except for the sim the indexes that appear on either side of the equal to sign the free indexes the dummy index can take any other symbol also because by default you are to summing you are going to sum that from 1 2 3 okay so this dropping off of the summation sign is a convention we are going to adopt okay so what up what that means is an index should not appear more than twice on uh, side of the equal to sign okay if the index appears more than twice on one side of the equal to sign there is something wrong with your initial notation this is called as the initial notation of this matrix equation okay this is called as the initial notation of the matrix equation matrix matrix multiplication is initially denoted by in this particular form yeah in this particular form here yeah. okay so now let us understand how to write uh, uh, matrix matrix multiplication say I have a matrix A which I write it as A i j and another matrix B I write it as B A B okay where i j denotes the components of that matrix 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 like that now I want to define a matrix C which is A times B then what should I do I have to sum the columns of A with the rows of B so this J and A have to be of the same symbol so this means by our notation this has to be A i J B J B would be C i B okay so going back to our equation that we had here this is C A B so C 1 1 corresponds to this term right that is we are multiplying the column indexes of A with the row index of B okay so let us go back and check whether we are getting the same thing for this matrix okay so let us do it the long way so A would be written as A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33 right this is what this, this means similarly B would be B11, B12, B13, B21, B22, B23, B31, B32, B33. Now this is going to be equal to C11, C12, C13, C21, C22, C23, C31, C32, C33 which in terms of A and B would be A11, B11 plus A12, B21 plus A13, B31 the second entry would be A11, B12 plus A12, B22 plus A13, B 3 2 okay plus there will be additional terms these two terms are suffix to see that what you are summing up is in a given uh, this thing this if I write C 1 1 here C 1 1 would be summation A 1 J B J 1 j equal to 1 2 3 let us see whether this is equal to this right so I have 1 1 here so it is 1 1 here 1 1 here 
1 1 here and j has been summed from 1 2 1 3. So, this corresponds to C 1 1. Similarly, C 1 2 would be A 1 j b j 2 summation j equal to 1 2 3 which is 1 and 2 here the 1 and 2 here corresponds to 1 and 2 there 1 and 2 there 1 and 2 here and then j has to be summed from 1 to 3 which it has been 1 2 and 3 j has been summed. So, you see that this is the short form notation of doing a matrix matrix multiplication ok. I can write it succinctly as a i j b j b ok. So, let us now continue to see what will how will I write this following multiplication. I want to do a transpose b is c matrix. So, how will I write c i b as is the question. I know that A is written as A i j and B is written as this B matrix is written as B A B ok. Now, since it is transpose I will sum the uh, A transpose would be A j i and this I have to multiply with B A B. So, now multiplication means I have to make these two indexes the same. So, it will become C i b would be a i j b j b is this right. No, if I write it like this I have not use the fact that I have interchanged the indexes i and j here ok. So, this is not right the correct expression for this is a j i b j b would be c i b because I have to interchange these indexes ok. So, this is the right way of writing a transpose b. Let us examine that a transpose would be a 1 1, a 1 2, a 1 3, a 2 1, a 2 2, a 2 3, a 3 1, a 3 2, a 3 3. Here the meanings of the indexes are changed. So, that is why the first index is the row index ok. First index has come like this, this multiplied by b which will be b 1 1 b 1 2, b 1 3, b 2 1, b 2 2, b 2 3, b 3 1, b 3 2, b 3 3. If I multiply this what do I get? The first term would be ok. So, if you multiply these two matrices what you will get is a 1 1, b 1 1 plus a 2 1, b 2 1 plus a 3 1 b 3 1 the second entry would be a 1 1 b 1 2 plus a 2 1 b 2 2 plus a 3 1 b 3 2 and so on. So, if you see now c 1 1 would be a j 1 b j 1 this 1 1 has to repeat at the end the column index of b and a should be the same you can see that it is the same here the column and the indexes of a and b are same whereas the j means you have to sum 1 2 3 which you are doing on the row index of a and b ok. Similarly, c uh, 1 2 would be a j 1 b j 2. So, the column index of A has to be 1 and the column index of B has to be 2 in the second term ok. You can see here the column index of A is 1 and the row index of B is 2 as suggested by this expression here and you have to sum J from 1 to 3 which are doing by summing it from 1 to 3 ok. So, basically now 
this what A transpose B means basically you change where you are the repeated index where the dummy index comes changes from A multiplied by B to A transpose multiplied by B. This is important because in many places you will be using this concept of initial notation in this course. Okay. Now, let us move along and understand what a difference between a vector is. Now, we have seen matrix multiplication 